it's noon again so i hope everybody's having fun today it's sunny outside and um well it snowed last night but i think it's coming out and it's melting so that's good and we already have dried the recycling depot here in harbor landing and that, there was no lineup and that was really really convenient that we have that um, recycling depot here all right um so today i'm doing the live tutorial for chica hack it's a technique that we use uh, for saint when we, we use the saint makeup we have that technique called cheetah hack it's to show you how foolproof this makeup is so even if you are a beginner and just started on um trying up on a new makeup or just starting to learn i know uh makeup could be intimidating so uh with saints kita hack i'm gonna show you that even if you are just a newbie you could still use it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resemble like a cheetah at first and then I'm gonna use my um, ever reliable brush to blend them into my face to blend the colors into my face and the result will be just as good as any pre professional person would do your makeup that's how confident I am with this makeup so uh, we, we already know about the um, basic hack set and that's composed of the main highlight the brightening highlight the contour and your uh, lip and cheek so this is my palette i'm showing you right here my custom palette i have my um contour my br my brightening my main highlight and there's a different kind of uh color for my uh, lip cheek, it's matte. Uh, yesterday I tried the glossy one, and this one is a nude color. So let's begin. Um, uh, with cheetah hat, you're gonna like put prints, like cheetah prints, using your cream color into where they should be. All right, like the contour, like I mentioned before, should be just below your cheekbones. If you want a higher uh, contour, then you can just put it right where your cheekbone is, like that. And of course, your jaw. I always want to emphasize this. Putting some contour on your jaw it really helps create that slimmer face look there so those prints cheetah prints that i'm trying to resemble there those are cream colors like i said just put the color into your into the right spot where the color should be there is there any other makeup that does that? I think it's only seen. Right? Oh, those were those are where my contour should go. Alright. Now I'm gonna put my main highlight just close to the contour colors there. Where you would normally put your foundation hi Jonaline thank you for watching I hope you learned something from this this is like a new makeup line but they're actually innovative like our old foundation we put it all of it all over our face first and then we put uh the next the cheek the cheek color with this one it's like paint the paint by the numbers they said like 
Remember when we were grade school? We don't know where to put the colors and it's marked by the numbers and that's where we put our, our colors. So this is more like that. So now I'm putting my brightening cream there. In the forehead, in the bridge of the nose, here, just above your lips, in your chin. Okay. <laughs> nice, eh? And then our cheek color. There. My This one is nude. <laughs> I feel like doing neutral today. So that's my lip and cheek color. So I just use my fingers to apply them. Oh, look at that. Nice lip color well if you're a neutral kind of girl this one nude is good for you okay now your main highlight like i said the, the cream color that's closest to your skin color that's your main and then you might want to put some at the side of your nose to, to contour your nose so there like if I, if I could do my makeup like this I could never go wrong with this brush I'll just gonna blend it okay this one is a same brush that I used yesterday it's called Buffy brush so I'm gonna start on the light colors first. So my main highlight. And just blend it to its place like that. Just blend it. This one kind of just make sure it's evenly spread out there where it should be. There. This one is also by main there with some brightening up there and then another lighter color would be the the brightening highlight i may have put too much but that's okay when you blend it it kind of um it spread it, it spread it thin and that evens out using this uh blending brush If you have any question, uh, I could read some comments and I could answer them. All right. So there goes my brightening and my main highlight. Okay, so this one looks a little um, more concentrated in this area. So I'm just gonna blend it until it evens out. There. Okay. Now we want to work on our contour and lip and cheek. So here's my lip and cheek. Then I'm just gonna blend it to its spot also like that. Okay, I probably should line this one up it's double-ended so one i use for blending and the other one you could also use for blending but uh the other side i haven't really used for any colors so it's for it's uh a smaller head so for tiny spots uh, tiny spaces you could use that all right so there's my one side there and then the other side just blend it blend it and now with our contour color because this is the darkest cream color we want to start uh, spreading that out too okay all right so you might want to work on your jaw first it's up to you there your neck Your jaw, outer jaw, there. 
Okay, your cheekbones. There. Just blend it onto its spot. All right, and then here. And finally, your top of your forehead. Okay. Until it's all even out. All right. Okay. Now, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Like putting your makeup like like print it on all over your face and just use your um buffy brush to blend it all in i mean i'm already done right it's like my everyday makeup it can be all done in a few minutes like yeah. so do you think if you're a beginner you could do that Absolutely, right? See, I'm all done. All right. And while we're still here, um, I also want to show how this uh, product, like one, one product, like the contour, could also be used for your eyebrows, right? So using this um, line brush, uh, we could use that to spread to our brows and brush it all in. Well, in the Philippines, they say eyebrows is life. So, <laughs> is a there's a new trend of eyebrows. Like back in the days, women wanted really really thin eyebrows, but now. The tie does turn and we want a groomed more colorful eyebrow like i would prefer brown eyebrow all right so there goes my contour color hi april i know you're gonna be a dj today if you have any question i know you're still learning even <laughs> Even if you are a pro at makeup, but Saint is really something new. It's like the apple of the makeup. It's innovative. You don't you don't need to layer it. You just put colors. I just showed how to do the cheetah half where you you use your finger fingertips. And put the spread the and put the color into your face, and you use the brush to just blend the colors in and spread it throughout, and that the result is like that. And I'm just gonna show this contour color being used for my eyebrows, cause you don't wanna buy a, a separate product for contour and set separate product for um your brows, right? And another thing that I want to show, um, this contour color also can be used to line your lips. I don't know about you, but if you go line your face, there's something about it that makes it look pouty. If you do, then if you don't have, right? So... Yeah, there it goes. Contour color also for lining the face, the, the, the lips, I'm sorry. Okay. And another use of that contour is for our eye eyeshadow like i could yesterday i showed the lip 
lip and cheek color used as eyeshadow this time it's my contour color being used for eyeshadow <laughs> see it's cream and you could use it for a lot of purposes right so if you are on a budget really you know you could use multi-purpose this cream this is also my contour color being used for my eyeshadow if you're an eyeshadow kind of girl why not because pops the eye put some color into it you know it's really nice it could be for everyday look, right? Yesterday I used pink and today I'm up for something neutral. What do you prefer? It's up to you. Saint has a lot of colors you could choose from. So don't settle for one look. Go get the pink, go get the red, and go get the neutral after all. It could be used like your contour you could also use that for for your shadow right there there and like my favorite even if Saint won't doesn't have this in our um, cosmetic line I really use oh, I really want to use mascara does that open up my lashes I would get a magnetic lashes if I could. I could. Well, maybe soon. I'm trying to plump that lashes. And then mascara. And I'll I can be all done. In as little as five minutes if I'm not talking I would be done in five minutes but I'm talking and I'm showing you so all right that's it that's it I'm done like all makeup done so do I look better now <laughs> than before I first started all right so April I know you may have questions don't don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions and if you need help finding the color that that will work for your skin tone i'm here to help just message me or april we could help you and i hope that um you could start enjoying the benefits of saying it's really really quick it's really really easy to use it's cream it won't dry your skin that's why i like it too because in the winter it could be harsh um like i have prob i have problems with drying my skin it got so flaky and so saint really helped me with that as well as the skin their skincare line oh um our our face needs the best uh, help it could get because uh like as we age as we mature uh, it loses the moisture that um you used to have when we were young so uh as much help it could get we need to give it to it so thank you for um jo joining me today in this class and i hope i was able to part some knowledge here we sh we have the op option to neglect our beauty or not but i hope we don't neglect our beauty because in this time of pandemic it could be depressing if you're just at home and you know not really doing any of our beauty routine but i encourage you for for our uh, mental health sake like for me it really helps me even if i just work from home i still make sure that i look good if i go into the meeting i still look my best and still dress up for the day and i hope that um if that helps you with this in this time well, I encourage you to do that. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your day.